as we are underway to start this day of SEC on ABC. See what kind of early rhythm he can get going here. Downfield and gets it complete to Luther Burden the third. Play action. On fourth down, downfield. And with the defender turned around, that'll bring out the penalty flag. After further discussion, there is no foul for defense. Whoa. And that's a massive call. It's initially drew the flag there for holding on Theo Weiss right here around the hip. A lot of contact. But you can see that hand on the back wasn't grabbing jersey. Should have been a pass interference and a first down Mizzou. Wigman. As he gets it complete on the crossing route to Jabri Barber. As Barber was able to haul it in. Wigman, play action, gets it out quickly again. And Noah Thomas will take it ahead as he gets inside the 30-yard line. Third and six. They keep it on the ground with Dan. Get a close look at it here. Yeah, I think that knee's going to be down about the one yard line, a little bit inside that. Quick to it. Straight ahead, and this time in. Amari Daniels cleans it up. Touchdown, Texas AM. Let's see if Scorton can get to Brady Cook. Cook steps up in the pocket. And is chased down and taken down. It was Damian Sanford who got to him with Connor Wigman under center. Second and six as Moss with a great push ahead. Connor Wigman is back healthy. First down, AM. Quick to the outside to Thomas and Noah Thomas. Look at what he can do. Spin move and more. Noah Thomas, chunk play, Aggies. Third down and six. Wigman. We're going to set up the screen, but that thing was blown up from the start on the season. That is well struck. Great rotation, a down-the-line kick. Second and ten. Hook. This time he doesn't miss. L.B. The nickelback for AM. And that one's coming all the way back. They're going to get, uh, I believe they said offensive lineman downfield. Let's watch it. Brady Cook's going to extend the play here. Watch the offensive line, yeah. I believe that's the right tackle getting downfield. Cook drives the ball to the outside, well short of the line to gain. Wigman goes underneath, complete for a first down to Walker. Colin Klein, of course, he shook it off. Quickly coming around on the motion is Barber, and Barber goes upfield and will have an Aggies first down. He's got huge upside, had a great career at Troy. Wigman, Moss straight ahead. The second quarter for the Aggies. Daniel straight ahead as he's pushing to that goal line and is going to be marked just short. This offensive line is really moving people for AM. First and goal. Straight ahead and driving into the end zone again is Amari Daniels, his second of the day. The SEC standings. The Aggies are already 2 0 in the SEC, and now with this 17 point lead. Yeah, we mentioned the schedule they have ahead of them, very favorable. Second and seven. Wigman. Wigman's going to run ahead and get the first down. And again, he chooses not to slide. Remember, he's been out for three weeks with the injured shoulder. Wigman. Pressure is picked up. It gives him a chance to go downfield. And with it, he gets it to Jade Walker. Wrestling that ball from Dre Norwood. Jade Walker comes up huge on third and 13. He goes for 37 yards. For Coach Drinkwitz. Third down and seven. Wigman 
Trying to extend the play. Now he's going to run it, and he's going to have the first down doing that again. This is a very fiery Connor Wigman today. And he has faced six third downs. He's converted five of them. And now the quick strike coming back for the ball is Terry Bussey. And this is first and goal, Texas A&M. Second goal. And add to it. Le'Veon Moss, one-yard touchdown run. All these things get taken into account in those rooms as a discussion to who to add, where to rank teams. Aggie's making a statement. And this punt is going to... You can't even dream it up. I mean, are you kidding me by Tyler White, the punter? As if he's got a joystick controller in his hand. Everything going Texas A&M's way. Watch the bounce of this ball. And the second bounce, watch this one. Starts going and then... Whoops, oh. Unbelievable. As if there was a magnetic force field on that goal line, and that is the punt by Tyler White. And Cook is just going to launch it to stay out of trouble and hit double zeros. Smart move. There's Lydia Moss, and AM just keeps rolling. Look at big Lydia. The tight end come around with the ceiling block. And Joseph Charleston, you see him on the ground right there. He's the safety rolling into the box that should make that play, but he ends up tripping on his own player. Kevin DeBoer, now his second year as the play caller at Missouri. And a tackle for loss, and it's Nick Scorton again. All week, they wanted to see how that shoulder looked and felt before the game. And this is exactly how it looks and feels with a strike down field to Terry Bussey, the true freshman. And coverage across the board. Third down and six. Wigman, he's going to get it to Moss for a first down and even more. And as Levia Moss continues his strong day. Third and 20 and they'll just run E.J. Smith. And that clock will continue to count down. As that is up and through. Nate Noel as he shakes free. Look at Nate Noel. Get a glimpse of what we saw when he played against Vandy when he had 199 yards. Cook backed up, looking to extend the play. Launches it downfield and gets it complete. Theo Weiss Jr. touchdown, Mizzou. Touchdown strike from Cook to Weiss. The pocket collapses. Brady Cook gets outside the pocket. This is a double move. He's going to work to the inside. As soon as he sees his quarterback scrambling, reverses field, goes deep, and AM defender completely lost in coverage there. Third down and nine. Cook gets it complete to the outside to Theo Weiss, and that's a first down for Mizzou. Put the foot back on the gas and finish this thing the right way. Thanks, Mitch. Thank you. Start of the fourth quarter, Brady Cook extending the play, now tucking and running and picking up the first down. Cook on fourth and 19, able to spin out of it and then launch it downfield, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Mookie Cooper, and that'll be a turnover on downs. And I'm in complete control, and this is Terry Bussey, and Terry Bussey can go in high school. There's a combo. Moss bounces it, Levy on Moss, and he takes it right in. Moss has had a monstrous day. 138 yards and three touchdowns now. They were as explosive a team I've ever seen against Bama. I expect them to pick right up where they left off last week. Here's Johnson on the return. And it's a good one. 
Marquise Johnson. Past midfield, tried to stay in bounds. Fourth and 11. And that's incomplete. A turnover on downs. On the schedule. It didn't go their way. That's okay. Football, it happens. How do you respond? And I think they'll respond better next time something like this comes around. Hook did a nice job right there. Offensive lineman being offsides on the big Luther Burden or downfield on the big Luther Burden play, the no call in the pass interference, and you go, Man, what if those things went the other way earlier? Does this game, is this game not 41 to 7? Maybe you still lose it, but maybe it's closer, right? Momentum is a fickle thing in college football. When it goes one way as quickly as it did today, and the leadership, as well as Eli Drinkwitz, will address it. Brady Cook able to get it to Luther Burden third. Third down and 10. Cook back shoulder and gets a complete to Luther Burden the third. Going to check down to Nate Noel. And Noel is going to be met and wrapped up. Face mask, defense number 14. It's going to be stopped at the goal line, but it is going to be first and goal. Timeout for an injured defensive player. Or maybe not. First and goal. And getting it to Luther Burden. And Luther Burden's going to lose yardage. Here's Cook on third and goal. That is batted and it falls incomplete. To some people, this is a very important field goal. Thank you for watching the video. If you're a college football fan, you got to be subscribed to Wheels, which can be done by hitting my logo on screen and then clicking subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.